Hey guys, welcome to this week's plan with me. So we are trying a voiceover this week. Um, so let me know what you guys think of it. So right now I'm just showing you guys that I will be using mostly the Hello Ashley Ann Horizontal Kit for September, as well as the Oh Hello Stationery Co. Kit for September. And these strips or separators are from Planner Kate. Um, and sorry if the sun keeps coming in and out, I'm filming right by a window, so you might see a bit of that. And lastly, I'm also using that nautical theme sheet from Oh Hello Stationery Co., which I think may still be available in their shop, but I think she is discontinuing it, so if you want it, you'll have to get your hands on it. So I'm starting off by working on the bottom bar, and aka the note section. And um, I'm using these Planner Kate uh, stackable um, bars or something along those lines. She makes them for both the horizontal and the vertical planner, so you guys should totally check them out because this is my second week using them and I am in love with them. Uh, they're so great. The only thing I miss is putting an Erin Condren sticker in the Thankful Thought, which if you guys have been watching my plan with me's for the past few months, you'll know that I had done that from the very beginning, but this is okay too, so I'm okay with that, and I'm just using the spend water intake and this week, which is the habit tracker for three habits. Okay, so next up, I am going into my Hello Ashley Ann horizontal kit, which I have been dying to use. Well, actually, never mind. I'm actually starting with the Planner Kate separators, and I'm going to start with Wednesday, um, because Wednesday is the longest word, or longest, yeah, it has the most letters in it, and I do want them all to match up, so I start with Wednesday, and then I work from there. Um, I tend to have a hard time with these separators because they are so thin, and plus my shaky hands, it's always really complicated, but um, once you get the hang of it, it's good. It's just that I really like it to be straight, so you'll see me keep on taking it off and putting them back on over and over again till I get them straight. Um, so here I am doing, I'm still doing Wednesday, um, and I am finishing up with Friday. Well, I have four days of classes on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so that's mainly what the separators are for, but I'm also doing it on Monday, Saturday, and Sunday just for the sake of it looking more uniform, I guess. So on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays, what I tend to do is just put in a separate, like put in a special event or something like that. But mainly, it's really just to keep my classes separate from my assignments or my study schedule, etc. So I'm just finishing up with Sunday there. And um, yeah, they all look lined up pretty well. So next up, I am going to take the Oh Hello Stationery Co. Um, to-do boxes. And these were included in her September horizontal kit. And what I'm actually going to do is chop off the to-do part as well as one slot. And this will make it each sticker perfect to fit right under the day of the week so that I can put in my classes. And um, there are eight of them and I have four days of classes. So this sheet will last me for two weeks this week being the first, and probably I'll use the other for next week. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. I don't have classes on Monday, so you will see me peel that off in just a second. But um, you'll see that I'm lining it up with the, um, with the strip because I'm going to put in bullet points on the other side to, um, and there I am peeling it off. I'm going to put bullet points on the other side to mark the topics for that day, which you'll also see in just a minute or so. So I am realigning on Tuesday, and you'll see I messed up my 
planner on Monday, and you'll see that I mess it up quite a few times during this plan with me. Um, the Ohalo Stationery Co. stickers, for some reason, are quite difficult to peel off once you've got them on. Um, the Planner Kate stickers are repositionable, which is great, which is why I love that they I got the separators from her, because since I do tend to take those off and put them back on quite a bit. But I can't say the same for the Ohalo Stationery Co., but they are mattes. I mean, they're glossy. So I guess I can live with it. And now you'll see me having to take off that one as well because I realized that it's not the same spacing on this second half of the week as it is for the first half of the week. And I'm really going to rip up my planner in this uh, section right here as I'm frantically trying to take off those stickers. Um, so now I am realigning these strips so that they uh, leave me some more space to fit the sticker as well as some bullet points on the left side there. So I've stuck that on and now I'm going to realign Saturday and Sunday with the new Friday. Excuse my super messy hair. <laughs> Okay, and we are almost done. Um, realigning these, honestly, is the most time-consuming thing ever. Let me know if you guys have that problem if you do use strips. I don't know if I asked that already because I've been having to redo these voiceovers a lot. So please excuse this because it is my first time doing voiceovers. And I'm not sure why I'm just sitting here for so long. Oh, there we go. I guess I was thinking of what to do next. Okay, so next up, I am actually going to write in my classes for this week. Um, and I'm going to speed up through the process or else it will actually take forever to record. I mean, it, the video will just be too long is what I'm trying to say. So, speed up, begin. There we go. So, in case you guys are curious, um, the class that I am taking right now is called Behavioral Medicine. Um, I am in med school, if I failed to mention that before. But, um, yeah, so we have block schedules where we're basically taking one class at a time for a few weeks, and then we get a final, and then we move on to the next class. Um, so right now, behavioral medicine is not like a hardcore science, so it is a little bit, uh, I won't say easier, but we basically have more time. <laughs> and um, in addition to that, we're also taking a once a week class called US Healthcare, and I have that on Tuesday, so that's what I'm writing in right now. And um, yeah, so I'm just writing in those things, and school just started, so... The syllabus is still pretty, um, pretty good, but things will speed up very, very, very soon. So I'm not looking forward to that, and I'm trying to get out as many videos as possible before I am too swamped to do anything else. Um, and I am just repositioning these adorable little bullet points, but which, if I didn't mention, are from Planner Kate. Um, they are awesome. They're rounded squares. My favorite bullet points by far. Love it. Okay, so we're done with that. Yeah. Hello, Ashley and Kit, and use these weekend strips. I've never actually used them before, so I'm really um excited for it but i i know i don't think i would actually go out of my way to purchase these but i figured i might as well use them since they are included in the kit so i am just using i'm just putting it in the white space area there um in between friday and saturday 
and I actually really like how it looks. So then I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of the weekend section by grabbing the giant weekend to-do list from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And these are awesome and a lot of you guys were asking where they are from and again they are from Oh Hello Stationery Co. One of my favorite shops and um, it's just a weekend to-do list that goes over Saturday and Sunday and you could put it anywhere in that spot. I mean in those days but I chose to put it at the end and then also from oh hello stationery co from their september kit i'm grabbing the weekend banner and these are absolutely my favorite weekend banners um they're so cute and different from everybody else's which i absolutely love but the only thing is i wish that there were more colors in them because um i don't know if you guys have seen the sheet that she makes outside of the kits and they're kind of dark in color so when I do a brighter lighter theme I go with the uh, Scribble Prints Co weekend banners because those come in a really nice color range. <clears throat> okay next up I'm grabbing these checklists from the Oh Hello Station I mean whoops the Hello Ashley Ann kits and I'm basically going to place these on every single day of the week because I um I always have schoolwork to do and um, here I'm just deciding where I want to place the to-do label um, and what I love about this kit is that there are so many checklists and so many to-do labels which it's just so perfect and functional I think that if you're somebody who just basically wants a to-do list every single day the horizontal layout is perfect for you and more than that this Hello Ashley Ann kit is really great too. Okay, so next up I'm grabbing these scalloped full boxes from the Hello Ashley Ann kit and they're really cute um, and they fit perfectly when you place them horizontally right under the day of the week, like it's a perfect fit. And I'm just going to write um, commute over here because I don't actually have classes but Mondays are when I commute from my parents home to the apartment near school and I'm also going to grab a sticker. Also from Hello Ashley Ann, um, it's the kind of Metro Card stickers. If you live in New York, then you know what Metro Card I'm talking about. But it's a little play off of that, and um, I'll show that to you guys any second. There we go. And um, so I just know that that's going to be a commuting sticker. And um, I'm just going to write commute. Now I'm going to work on some decorations, specifically, again, from the Hello Ashley Ann kit. There are a couple of full boxes, which I want to utilize, so I'm just putting one on Tuesday, and that is just a really pretty kind of bow print in the September color scheme. And um, I am going to put in some uh, stickers in here. Uh, indicating that my rent is due that day since it is September 1st and also to pay my Time Warner cable bill and I figured that the full box would be a nice background for that and these rent due and Time Warner cable stickers by the way are from uh, Sweet Kawaii Design she makes the cutest kind of utility stickers in my opinion um, they are on the big side but uh, she did come out with a new itty bitty line, which I will 
feature in my um, next haul video, so stay tuned for that. And I decided to actually just layer that uh, laptop sticker with one of the kind of plain blank label stickers from uh, from the Hello Ashley Ann kit. And I think that looks really nice. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and write in to remind myself to pay the bill. I'm going to go ahead and add more full boxes to fill up some of the white space um, from the same Hello Ashley Ann kit. I'm actually using that scalloped full box again right under the day of the week. So I'm basically using those as fillers for the days that I don't have class, but for the sake of just having something there. And then I'll layer some stickers for special events like I know that on Sunday that my family and I have an event and on Saturday I am seeing some friends so I'm going to go ahead and actually fill out those um, those activities right now. I'm using a house sticker from the same Sweet Kawaii design um, set of utility stickers and I'm just um, putting in that we are going to our cousin's house that day and then on Saturday I wasn't sure how to indicate that I was hanging out with some friends and so I actually went ahead and used a little mini banner from one of the Alex Studio uh, banner sets because she has a lot of like weekend banners and general banners and I have accumulated many of them from just buying them on their own, but also from um, like mystery kits and stuff. But this one was actually a sh full sheet that I bought myself and I'm just using the mini tassels to indicate that Saturday is going to be a very fun day. And I'm just gonna go ahead and write in who I'm hanging out with and um, actually I don't think I write where we're going there, but yeah. Okay, so then I'm grabbing the other decorative full box and putting it on Friday. And um, on top of this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put in some fun stickers. Um, we are going for a nautical theme. So I'm actually going to be using that Oh Hello Stationery Co. Uh, nautical sticker sheet that comes with a bunch of sea creatures and just fun stuff. Um, well, actually, before I do that, I'm just going to put in that I have an assignment due on Monday, and um, Monday at midnight. So I'm going to go ahead and just mark that with that pencil from Sweet Kawaii Design and that label from Hello Ashley Ann. And I'm going to go ahead and just write that in right now. Now I am grabbing the fun decorative sticker sheet from Hello uh, Oh Hello Stationery Co. And um, I got this in a subscription kit, but I think it's still available. And it just has so many fun critters on it. And I'm going to go ahead and just start filling up my page with these guys. And I'm going to try and use as many of them as possible to fill in some spaces and also just give this spread a bit more pop. and make it less boring 
So I'm just adding some fishies on Friday um, by layering them on top of the full box from Hello Ashley Ann and um, I'm having them face in different directions and I, I think that was probably my favorite part of this red. I think it looks so cute and um, yeah so just watch as I go ahead and fill up the rest of the space with these little guys. So that's actually going to be it for my plan with me this week. I know it's kind of just using monthly kits, but I wanted to show you guys how I incorporated those kits into my spreads. And this is also my first full week of school, so I wanted you guys to see how my spreads will be looking from now on. Um, mostly functional with bits and bobs of decorations. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye!